Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, I am Sika and today I'm going to show you my current favorite art supplies, supplies I won't leave the house with. Let's start with my favorite sketchbook, it's the Moleskine Art Journal. It takes water well, the paper is super smooth and ivory color, I really love how it takes the pencil strokes. I use the Prismacolor Cold Erase pencils for loose colored pencil sketches. I also use these with my watercolor work if I trace them on watercolor paper since they are easily erasable and disappear underwater. If an oopsie happens, I use the Muji Black Eraser. It's my favorite for years. Nothing erases as well as this bad boy in my opinion. I really love sketching with pen. So this is my favorite pen. It's the big round stick. I really love the pencil-like tip and to be honest, the best feature about it is that the cap fits perfectly on the end of the pen. I also enjoy how slim the pen itself is. I really love that this spiral is super scratchy and you can layer it well so you can make more detailed sketches. The funny thing is I would never use one of those for writing since I prefer gel pens for this matter. Now to my uber favorite art supply, the Faber-Castell Polychromes pencils. I really love how smooth they glide in my sketchbook and they make every watercolor work I do complete. These are sadly super expensive but in my opinion worth every penny. I don't own a lot of these, only a few select colors. I would recommend not buying the tin sets since the colors are most of the time super random and bright. I really don't enjoy that. You can get more out of your buck if you spend the money on colors you like. I mostly own pastel colors and really really dark colors for contrast in my works. My most used polychromous pencils are walnut brown, light cobalt turquoise, cadmium yellow, Prussian blue, alizarin crimson, cadmium orange, cream, violet and of course my favorite pink metal lake. This artwork reflects really good how I use colored pencils and how they look in the Moleskine sketchbook. I like how the pencil strokes look super soft but still scratchy. Next up is the art supply I mainly use for my work. Last summer I invested in this little limited edition Schmincke palette. It comes with 12 student grade colors and a cute summer routine. I think the color selection is quite nice even though I would personally skip out on the black pen and switch it out for a Prussian blue one. The colors are super vibrant and the sepia in the set mutes everything perfectly down if you don't quite enjoy the bright look. I also like that there is not too much glue in the colors even though they are student grade. I really think it's too expensive for beginners since this small set cost me about 30 euros. In conjunction with my Schminke set I love using the Ecoline liquid watercolors. I really love how vibrant these colors are and that you can use them directly from the jar. The yellow one is one of my favorites since I prefer very bright and strong yellows and this one is my favorite. And these jars last forever. I think I have mine now for nearly four years and you can barely see I use them. I think these are awesome for beginners and also advanced artists since they cost about two to four euros a jar but you can get out a lot of them. Also they are cute sets. Next up my favorite brushes for watercolor work. I prefer using real hair over synthetic hair for my watercolor work. These are from Windsor & Eaton. They are round brushes. The sizes I most commonly use are 00, 2, 3, 4 and 6. I have these brushes for over 5 years now and they still feel brand new and have never lost their hair. I really like this one since the tip is super pointy and the handle has this great shape which makes it more comfortable to hold for a lot of hours. I use this brush a lot since I got it a few months ago, especially for details. Then there's this brush. I really enjoy how much water this one can hold. This is my favorite brush out of all my brushes in my collections and I can really recommend every artist who wants to play with watercolor. There is a watercolor infuser to have one of those. The shape is super awesome since the tip is super pointy, which makes it great for detail work but also the sides are wide, which makes it awesome to cover large areas. I have made a lot of work solely using this brush. I don't use gouache solely often, but I really love making mixed media pieces with gouache. I use the Liquitex acrylic gouache. I prefer using acrylic gouache since it doesn't mix anymore when the layers dry. I own quite a few of them, mostly super bright or super pastel colors. I really enjoy the packaging since before those I owned tube gouaches and the lids always got stuck on those so I never used them. These are also super big for gouache paints in my opinion so the higher price tag isn't that much. I really love the texture of those paints and how fast they dry. 
buy. Lastly, these are my not so often used supplies that I still love a lot. The Kuretake Zik Clean Color Brush Pens. I solely use these for sketchbook work since they are water-based. I really enjoy the little small brush tip they have. I always keep some of those in my uni pencil case. I have the 36 pen case set and I really enjoy it since it has the perfect mix of bright and muted shades. I really enjoy these pens for making accents in my sketchbook. I use micron pens to outline my work if I do it. I still burn through these, especially during times like in October. I'm not really the fine liner girl, but I really like those. Also for writing. They are not super expensive and in my opinion, the felt tip of those pens are super sturdy. So that's it. These are my current favorite art supplies. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and put on notifications. See you next time.